is the latest news update for today. Entertainers among four charged over Sting Brawl, former U.S. soldier on gun charge gets $500,000 bail, five shots at gospel concert in Manchester, woman dies, daughter injured in St. Anne crash, and Little Duns River opened to the public on Sunday. <laughs> so all entertainers fully bad, and... Ornomosity are among four people charged by the police with disorderly conduct arising from a brawl at Sting 2023 in Portmore, St. Catherine. Fully Bad's real name is Nicholas Bartley, while Ornomosity, given name, is Leighton Sims. The others charged are musician Dalton Bartley and Roshane Shavar Williams, a mason of Mount Ogle, Sligoville, St. Catherine. Reports from the Portmore Police are that about 6.30 a.m., Bartley and Slim Sims were performing when a fight started. Williams and Bartley joined, which resulted in a dispute of the event. The police intervened and all four men were arrested and charged. They are scheduled to appear before the St. Catherine Parish Court on Wednesday, January 24. Jamaican American man charged over the seizure of a loaded gun during a traffic stop was yesterday granted $500,000 bail with one or two shorties in the St. Catherine Parish Court. Tamil Chin, 28, who was recently discharged from the United States Army, was ordered by Senior Parish Court Judge Desri Alain to surrender his travel documents and to report to the Central Village Police Station two times weekly. Chin, who is charged with possession of prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition, is to go before the gun court on January 26. In applying for bail, his attorney Matthew Sims said Chin had no knowledge of the gun. The attorney also told the court that he was recently honorably discharged from the U.S. Army after completing two tours of Afghanistan. He further told the court that Chin suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. The bail application was granted. Allegations are that on December 8, police personnel assigned to the St. Catherine South Division stopped a vehicle and conducted a search. A black bag allegedly being carried by Chin was searched and a 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 11 rounds of ammunition was seized. According to the police, he was subsequently arrested and later charged. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share, hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you the latest. Five people were shot and injured on Tuesday night when two men drove up on a motorcycle and began firing at patrons attending a gospel concert in Christiana, Manchester. Their injuries are not considered life-threatening. The gun attack happened after 11.30 p.m. Despite the incident, the police are assuring the public that they are doing everything to keep them safe. Head of the Manchester Police Division, Superintendent Shane McCalla, said the gospel concert is a very peaceful event and the act was unprovoked. He is asking anyone with information on the shooting incident to contact the police. A woman died as a result of injuries she sustained in a motor vehicle crash in Monique, St. Anne, on Tuesday night. Her daughter is also nursing injuries as a result of the crash. The deceased is 30-year-old Daniela Parker 
of Swamp Lane in Bogwalks and Catherine, reports from the Manique Police are that about 11 p.m. Parker and her child were traveling in a motor car when a tire blew out and the driver subsequently lost control of the vehicle. Both females were reportedly thrown from the vehicle and sustained multiple injuries. They were transported to the hospital where Parker succumbed her injuries and her daughter admitted for treatment. Since Friday, December 22nd, five people, including a policeman, have succumbed to injuries sustained in vehicle collisions in St. Anne. Little Dons River, the popular St. Anne attraction, was closed due to safety concerns last year, is now open to the public on Sundays. The announcement was made by Cabinet Minister and Jamaica Labour Party candidate for St. Anne Northeast, Matthew Samuda, in an Instagram post on Wednesday. The attraction was closed by the Urban Development Corporation in September 2022 following a murder at the location and concerns regarding possible reprisals. Residents have staged several protests calling for the attraction to be reopened and some have taken the matter to court in order to regain access to the property. The case is ongoing. Samuda said in November he gave a commitment to work with UDC, the police, and the community in an effort to return safe access to Little Downs River by Christmas. Despite the attraction being opened once weekly, Samuda said, there are still major issues to work through to ensure full commercial activity can return safely to Little Downs River. He said further discussions with the St. Anne Municipal Corporation and other stakeholders will be ongoing to achieve those safety goals. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.